Well, Tallaght Community Council started in the late 70s. Uh, the first chairman was Kevin Malloy, who's still on, trading on Main Street in Malloy's The Fox's Covert. Um, it was very much set up in response to the rapid growth of residential development in Tala, where the village went from 700 to several thousand in a very short space of time in the late 70s. I founded the Echo newspaper back in 1980 and in 2005 it was its 25th anniversary and I can only assume because nobody told me what I wanted for really but I can assume that's the reason why. One of our running uh, the Black Panther Kickboxing Club, Martial Arts Club in uh, West Halle, Brookfield. And uh, it was basically for the community work we're doing. It's a voluntary run club and it's active in the sport of uh, kickboxing. The nomination process is um, uh, it's done separately. Uh, you don't nominate yourself. Uh, it's no you're usually nominated by some other person who knows you who knows what you've been doing and knows what you've been up to for the last number of years. Uh, that's normally the process. Well, I was nominated by somebody in the club. Uh, they just done a brief passing, kind of, in a gesture. Would you be interested in going? And I never had heard of the Talapers of the Awards. And uh, that's how I was nominated. And then I basically went up on, online from Facebook and people voted from me through online. It was a great honour. Uh, I was very, I was very surprised. I was, it was unbelievable. Like, I wasn't expecting it. I was getting ready to go home actually when, when they announced me as the winner, you know, because we had been nominated for the Sports Club of the Year as well. And we, they'd gone by that and they kept the Tala person to the, the last thing. And you don't expect it. I don't think anybody does. <laughs> so I thank you very much and just keep supporting for the good. Thank you. Tala Community Council um, is very keen on promoting Tala in a very positive way. Um, obviously Tala is a unique place in our view. It has a very special mix of urban and rural traditions, landscapes and amenities. Um, and very often it's overlooked when people come to Dublin. Um, and we feel it needs to be promoted on the national stage and we're very happy to do that. It's a very important part of any community that there is a recognition for those who, who do such un, unrewarded work in many ways. It's all voluntary work that most of, the, most of the winners would have done in the past. So it's very important that the community recognises that, that uh, achievement. They're doing it for, for no other reason, or no gain, really just for the good of the community and helping out other people. Again, I have to look at the people who won it in the past rather than myself. Um, they would have been very selfless people who de dedicated a lot of their time all through the years to helping others and uh, winning an award like the Person of the Year was a great recognition for that and most of them, as I say, would have worked tirelessly uh, volunteering uh, most of the time for various organisations. It was, it was a bit of work and a bit of pressure but at the same time it was enjoyable and it was very positive to help and give back to the community and to the awards to all the players and Jim and Tara, you wouldn't like to let them down on the group, the whole Tala person of the year group, they're, they're actually phenomenal. What makes Tala, Tala is the people. It's the community that we build as individuals. So I think we can all give ourselves a massive boola bus and a clap on the back because without people, everybody sitting beside you, we wouldn't have the community that we actually have in Tala. So well done everybody.